The Weekly News with TJ starts right now. What a beautiful day it is out here and a beautiful time of year we have going on here in Marin County. That opener that I always try to put a bunch of clips of, I don't know, things that I've seen happen in the gyms throughout the week, the interviews that I've had or done, the different programs that we are running, and this is the content and footage that I'm producing throughout the week for these different groups. If you're ever interested in what the hell is that a video of, I'm happy to explain it to you. Real quick, I wanna go over the announcements that we have going on here. The gyms in there are gonna be closed on Saturday because of the rodeo. We hope everybody comes, everyone's invited. Bring your family, bring your friends. We've got a cookout that's around 11 a.m. Uh, it'll go on through the afternoon. We've also got some sweet programs rocking and rolling. Our Legends program is blowing up. If you know somebody who needs that dose of strength, balance, endurance, building of capacity, who've lost that ability to just be functional. This is a great program for them. Don't hesitate to put them in touch with us. We'll take care of them, we promise. We've got a cool new program called Running Strong that's gonna be taking place. You'll see the details in the blog below, days and times. This is a strength program for runners, keeping you out on the trail, out on the road, being able to do your mileage. It's gonna be programmed by Nick, who has an extensive background in distance running. So that's gonna be real fun. I'm officially announcing our In It To Win It Challenge with Coach Anthony and myself. The Monday after Thanksgiving until Christmas Eve, daily content, lots of motivation. Uh, we've got some get out of jail free cards that are gonna be going on with that as well. So uh, more information to come on that guy. As far as the programming that's going on, uh, you are looking at playing around with your fitness. Uh, the, the workouts are gonna be intense. We're gonna continue to play with that barbell and doing the power movements of the clean snatch, the Olympic movements. You're gonna be cycling those movements a lot. You're gonna see probably up until Thanksgiving, great time to dial in other parts of your life outside of the gym, that lifestyle as far as sleep, stress, nutrition, hydration, all that good stuff. Taking care of your tissue over the next few weeks. You foam rolling those calves, getting that lacrosse ball into the glutes, spending a lot of time on the recovery. We are amping it up. Nick has got some spicy things ahead of us and uh, you wanna make sure that you can apply your fitness. You're getting after it. We're hanging on to that pull-up bar a little longer, hanging on to that barbell a little longer, trying to eke out a few more kettlebell swings if you can, running a little harder on those bursts of running, trying to build our athleticism. How athletic can you be? Burpee pull-ups, burpee box jumps, uh, wall balls, coordination, agility, accuracy, balance. Oh, have fun with it. Email Nick at TJ's Gym if you have any questions. Changing gears right now so we can talk about today's blog subject or vlog, if you will. Alcohol. Yay! Boo. Everybody has a different reaction to it. What happens physiologically when you consume alcohol? Halfway through three quarters of the way through your first drink, you get that brain fuzz, I call it. Euphoria, it feels good. Ah, I deserve that. No, you don't, but that's another story. What that is, is your body recognizing that you just consumed a depressant. The counteractivity to depressant would be adrenaline. Adrenaline is a quick release hormone that is used sparingly and intensely. And that's why that, where that euphoria comes from. It's the adrenaline is combating the depressant. The problem is that you don't keep experiencing that euphoria. You end up consuming more alcohol, chasing that feeling. What happens is the depressant starts to win and you get drunk. Nice work. Having spent time in my life experimenting with alcohol, I can tell you this, when you take a big break, two, three, four months off of drinking it, and you consume your first drink, here's the weirdest thing. You don't get that brain buzz. You don't get that good feeling. You don't get that euphoria that you get after drinking for two, three, four, five nights in a row. And that's mainly because the dose of adrenaline is so low. 
you don't get the big spike against it. You get a moderate spike, and that screws up that euphoric feeling. What happens the next night, or the third night or fourth night in a row, is that your body's getting a little panicky because there's some damage being done. So what it does is start ramping up the amount of adrenaline you feel, even though the amount of alcohol hasn't increased in that one drink. So you're doing damage to yourself in a bunch of different ways. From there, 20% of alcohol is absorbed by the stomach lining. The rest of it pretty much gets sent to the liver. The liver can't handle all of it. It starts to produce fatty uh, deposits in the liver to combat the alcohol that's coming in. It sends alcohol molecules out through the body for the heart, the lungs, the brain, the circulatory system. The rest of the body doesn't do a great job of trying to manage that. I mean, alcohol. There aren't, I'm sorry a glass of red wine or something else that's supposedly good for you in some way, shape, or form. It's just not. Red meat, sugar, fish, white potatoes, rice, beans, bread, grains, they all metabolize differently for different people. You have to investigate. When you take those things in, do you suffer from inflammation? That's all we're trying to find out. Hopefully this is useful. Hopefully you got something out of this. Happy to answer any questions as usual. I hope to see you guys at the rodeo. See you later.